Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. March 8, 2023, the Corruption is Legal Edition. And we begin with a story from the Wall Street Journal about former uh, Ohio House Speaker Larry Householder, I should say disgraced, who's under uh, or in trial for bribery and corruption, claims that uh, the more than $60 million he received uh, as bribes is actually legal under the U.S. Supreme Court decision of Citizen United, that it's simply dark money and, you know, the Supreme Court says it's legal and you can't go after me. So uh, the Supreme Court uh, is really, uh, its chickens are really coming to roost from this most horrid decision. And if it gives him an out, um, Katie, bar the door, there will be never a corruption case in the United States again. Next up, from the USA Today, a rare contributor to the Daily Compliance News, nevertheless reports that Barcelona FC is to be accused of corruption for payments. Barcelona, a former home of Messi and one of the greatest soccer clubs in the world, will be charged to payments to the vice president of refereeing in the Spanish League. So if you wondered how they got such great Calls, well, maybe this is it. So the Spanish League and the Spanish Federation are looking into the matter. Barcelona has hired an independent firm to carry out its own investigation. From Reuters, we get the story that Ukraine has appointed a new top anti-corruption investigator, concluding a months-long process. The EU has made tackling corruption a priority for Ukraine uh, to join uh, the EU, and Simon Semen uh, Krevinos is now the uh, chief of state inspection, been appointed as the head of the country's uh, anti-corruption investigative unit. So, progress by Ukraine. And our final story comes to us from Patricia Tado uh, and Robert Bernson from uh, Bloomberg. Patricia had great coverage of the Roger Ng trial, and she reports that the Department of Justice has said Ung should get 15 years of hard jail time for his role in the 1MDB scandal. Ung himself has uh, thrown himself on the mercy of the court and has asked for uh, basically probation. The sentencing recommendations were recently filed by prosecutors, and they said Ung's crimes merited a substantial term of imprisonment. He is scheduled to be sentenced in April, And uh, this is going to be a very interesting test of whether the DOJ can get a significant amount of jail time for one of the world's biggest corruption scandals. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.